Hi students and welcome to video number three in the Acidic Environment Collection. This one's just going to be a very brief one uh, looking at a comparison table of those key um, indicators that I mentioned on video number two. So remember that um, firstly indicators are dyes, usually plant dyes, substances which change colour in the presence of either an acid or a base. So they allow us to determine the difference between um, strong bases or very concentrated, um, uh, weak bases, neutral substances, or shall we say dilute, um, uh, weak acids, and strong acids. Now, one of the important things that we'll look at a little bit later on is these two terms, strong and concentrated, are not interchangeable. They are referred to two completely different things. You can have a weak base that's very concentrated and therefore has a um, very low pH. We can also have a strong base that is uh, in very low concentration, very dilute, and therefore it will have a higher pH value. So um, these are terms that we will look at a little bit later on. But this is a range that roughly goes from the top of the scale around 14 through to 7 in the neutral range and down to 1 uh, in the strong acids. And, and, um, so these are the things that we need to try and uh, determine the difference between. We looked in the last video at litmus, at phenylphthalene, methyl orange and bromothymol blue. And in this video, we'll just quickly um, have a word about universal indicator as well. So I suggest that one of the things that's probably useful for you to do is to put in a comparison table. Now, when you're answering your HSC questions, uh, comparison tables are fantastic um, because they allow you to put a large amount of information in a very organized way that very, very quickly and easily allows you to see those important things. This is a comparison table of four different indicators that tells you something about the color change regions. So if we have a look at this, then we can see, first of all, that these two are changing their colors in the mid range, in the neutral range. So this is where we get the um, indication of neutrality. Um, that in this case, bromothymol blue is yellow in acidic solutions, blue in basic solutions, and therefore a combination of the yellow and the blue producing green solutions in neutral substances. Litmus we know is red in acidic solutions and blue in basic solutions, and a combination of these two, which makes it purple in the uh, neutral range. But notice that the other two, methyl orange and phenylphthalein, are not indicators of neutrality. Neutral solutions in the case of phenylphthalein are the same color, uh, in this case colorless, in neutral solutions as they are in acidic solutions. So we couldn't actually use phenylphthalein to tell the difference between an acid and a neutral solution. They would both appear colorless. Likewise, with methyl orange, we couldn't actually use methyl orange to tell the difference between a neutral solution and a basic solution. Both of these solutions would turn yellow. Sometimes it's important to get a sense of um, uh, exactly how strong or uh, concentrated a particular solution is by using a combination of these different indicators. So for example, if we knew that our solution was acidic, but we didn't know whether it was a strong or a weak acid, then what we might do is to use something like a bromothymol blue, um, which would tell us that the color would be yellow, so it would be somewhere between zero and um, six. And then if we also found that the um, indicator was red in methyl orange, then now we know that it must be less than um, three. So we know that color change region is between about 3.1 and 4.4. So this allows us to start um, uh, narrowing it down uh, somewhat so we can um, pinpoint those uh, pHs a little bit more precisely. So sometimes you'll actually be given tables like this to compare uh, different indicators and, and to make uh, conclusions about these um, pH of different solutions. 
Of course, one other way to do that is to just use universal indicator. Now, universal indicator is actually a mixture of different indicators that show a range of different colors. And that means that it's a lot more accurate in terms of trying to identify different types of solutions. In fact, we can use the color matching right around this wheel uh, to get a um, to make conclusions about the uh, concentration of the uh, acid or base in the solution from very strong um, acid to very strong base. Uh, in addition to universal indicator, um, which can be used either as a paper form like litmus paper or uh, in a solution, uh, we can also use things like pH meters and pH probes, and I'm sure you'll use these as you go through. So these are the important indicators to remember. I think that uh, comparison table is a very important one to make sure that you've got down somewhere and that you can uh, recall at some point in the future. These will be very useful when we're actually making decisions when we look at our neutralization reactions in future. Thanks for watching.